Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Control for Days. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the modern matchup analysis featuring the deck Black Green Yawgmoth. We're going to delve into every matchup in the modern format with the deck. Today, we're gonna to start from the top with Affinity. You can follow along on my sideboard guide, which is linked in the description below. This is the list we'll be using as reference and is my current preferred build of Black Green Yawgmoth. Let's start with game one. Game one of this matchup, Yawgmoth is definitely favored. Affinity relies on a mass of small creatures to accumulate an advantage over the course of a game, but in order to leverage that advantage, a critical mass of artifacts is required and needs to be maintained. The namesake, Yawgmoth, Thran Physician, preys on small meddling creatures that occupy the main deck slots of Affinity. Memnite, Frogmite, Gingerbrute, Ornithopter, and Thought Monitor are not long for this world when there is an active Yawgmoth on the board. Black Green Yog aims to accelerate its mana over the first few turns of the game and will chump lock with undying creatures to preserve life total. By turn 3 or 4, it is likely Yawgmoth has hit the board and the artifacts on the opposing side of the table have reached their expiration date. Yawgmoth's proliferate ability can expedite this process. As a Yog player, it is imperative that your opening hand can either ramp, chump lock, or stick an early Thran Physician to be able to come out on top. Affinity generally needs to be on the play or has access to a main deck Pithing Needle to be able to shut off their artifact creature Kryptonite. Another angle of attack that Affinity has access to is using Relic of Progenitus to cut off and dying triggers out of the graveyard. The Seiju who endures is your only main deck out to these problematic permanents. Post sideboard, the games swing further in Yawgmoth's favor as access to artifact removal makes no threat safe. Force of Vigor is the superstar of the bunch, nabbing two key artifacts in one fell stroke. My current build is utilizing Abrupt Decay, a consideration for the rise of Ledger Shredder. However, if you're still running Crime Punishment, this too is another haymaker against an unsuspecting wielder of artifacts. An end of turn Court of Calling for Outland Liberator on a turn where your opposition has not cast any spells transforms this kind human into a ravaging werewolf which can single-handedly decimate an opposing board. Speaking of decimation, Hapatra in combination with Yawgmoth will handily wipe every creature from the opposite side of the battlefield, as long as your life total can support enough activations. From the opposite side of the table, be wary of Metallic Rebuke and Galvanic Blast, the former more likely than the latter. And that does it for today's video. I greatly appreciate you tuning in. If you have not done so already, a great way to support this channel is by hitting the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and comment below. If you want to support my channel above and beyond that, feel free to head over to my Patreon. Any and all contributions are greatly appreciated. Until next time, be well. <laughs>